Hi, my name is Callie Turner Tomaszewicz, and I'm a graduate student at the University of California, San Diego. And thank you for your interest in this project. What I'm about to tell you a little bit more about is the research that I'm doing for my graduate work, which is also in a partnership with NOAA's National Marine Fisheries Services and a nonprofit group based down in Baja, Mexico, Grupo Tartaguero. My research focuses on protecting and learning more about, so we can better protect, two species of sea turtles that live here in the Pacific. There's the North Pacific loggerhead, Coretta coretta, and the East Pacific green sea turtle, Chelonia mitis. Sea turtles have an incredible life history, and as loved as these animals are, there's a remarkable amount of information that we just don't know about them. One of the most difficult stages of the sea turtle's life history to study is that of the juvenile pelagic stage, from when the animals are born on the beaches to before they settle as sub-adults in those nearshore habitats. My research is focused on learning about this stage, the lost years. So basically I'm trying to figure out how old are they when they settle into these sub-adult feeding areas which is actually answering the question of how many years are they out in the open ocean and exposed to those varying threats. Depending on where in the ocean a sea turtle lives and for how long it lives in those different areas, the threats that it encounters along the way also change. My research will help us prioritize conservation efforts so that the habitats where the turtles are most in danger are those habitats that are protected first. So in order to accomplish this goal, my research will be using two specific processes, one called skeletal chronology and another called stable isotope analysis. I'll be doing this by using the humerus bone or the upper arm bone in the flipper of the sea turtle and looking at the chemistry of the bone back in time. Let me tell you a little bit more about that. Much the way that the rings of a tree are laid down every year, a sea turtle bone will grow in a very similar way. So by looking at the humerus bone, specifically a small section of it, we can answer this question. First, we cut out the two sections that we need. One of those sections is then processed or decalcified so that it's soft enough to be able to be cut with a very thin blade. These super thin sections are then stained so that we can actually see each individual line representing each year. This is the skeletal chronology part of the research. The second part is the stable isotope analysis, where we drill one of the bones to get a sample of the chemistry from each individual line. Different habitats in the ocean will have different chemistries. The same way a satellite tag can follow a turtle, skeletal chronology with stable isotope analysis can follow a sea turtle backwards in time. Along the coast of Baja Peninsula, it's a beautiful area with tons of wildlife. It's gorgeous, but it's also a place of a lot of death. From marine mammals like whales and sea lions to even our marine turtles, the strandings along these beaches and lagoons are the source for the samples for my research. In the last year, we've begun collecting humerus bones from these beaches, but there's no way I could do this work alone. This research is possible because of dedicated volunteers, staff, and scientists of Grupo Tartaguero who are on site and are monitoring these strandings year-round, collecting samples for me and my research. I am incredibly grateful for Grupo Tartaguero. So, by donating what you can, your money will be going directly towards Grupo Tartaguero, which is part of the nonprofit The Oceans Foundation. I'm raising these funds because the research that I'm doing for my graduate work would not be possible without the help from the dedicated researchers, staff, and volunteers of Grupo Tartaguero. For more information on my research and regular updates, you're also welcome to visit my blog at sandiegoseaturtles.blogspot.com. On behalf of all my partners at the University of California, San Diego, NOAA, and the Grupo Tortiguero, I thank you for your time and appreciate any support you can give. Thanks again.